Hello, good morning. I'm Daniel Choquet. I'm uh, the head of the Bordeaux Imaging Center, uh, the facility for biological imaging in the Bordeaux region. And I'm also the French representative to the new uh, European infrastructure, Eurobioimaging. As you all know, uh, imaging has become uh, completely key to uh, research in biology and also for uh, medical investigations. And uh, about uh, 10 years ago, this project uh, was launched uh, to construct a pan-European infrastructure for biological and uh, medical imaging. And after 10 years, uh, this infrastructure was actually created uh, just a couple of weeks ago under the name of uh, Eurobioimaging. The aim of uh, an infrastructure is to provide uh, access, uh, training, and uh, rationalize uh, innovation in a given field. And for uh, biological and medical imaging, that's exactly it. It's to construct an infrastructure like a gigantic core facility distributed among all, among all European countries that allows access to the users, training of the users, training of the core facility staff also, and uh, rationalize and improve uh, flux of information in the area of, uh, re of uh, research and development for uh, imaging. So today the infrastructure was launched with uh, 16 countries. So you can look up the list, of course, on the Eurobioimaging uh, website. And uh, each of these countries has provided uh, candidate nodes that were uh, val validated in a first uh, round of call for nodes. And uh, France proposed one node, which is uh, the National Infrastructure France Bioimaging, which was uh, uh, recently uh, certified and what was created uh, nearly 10 years ago now. And France Bioimaging is also a distributed national infrastructure. Uh, it's composed of uh, six nodes, uh, among them uh, Bordeaux was one of the founding nodes, and also one transversal node uh, for uh, data analysis and image analysis. We participated really at the creation of this uh, national infrastructure, actually together with our participation to the project of uh, Eurobioimaging, and uh, Bordeaux's strength have been uh, from the very beginning in various areas, but in particular in the area of uh, high resolution imaging. And one of big strengths of Bordeaux is the presence of not only a uh, core facility, but also of strong R&D teams in the field of uh, bioimaging. And then, as time evolved, uh, the role of Bordeaux in the creation of the national infrastructure, but also the European one, has increased, uh, in particular uh, in the field of training. Uh, because, as you all know, uh, we have this uh, European School for Neuroscience, uh, the, which is co-supervised by FENS and IBRO and the Bordeaux University. And, uh, this, and also because we have strong experience in uh, training users and core facility staff, we actually have had the role of uh, coordinating uh, the planning for training in the national infrastructure and the European infrastructure uh, in Bordeaux. So, of course, our mission, as I said, as a node, is the same as the pan-European uh, missions. Uh, our mission is to provide uh, access, uh, to provide training, and also to rationalize uh, research and development in the field of bioimaging. So, of course, in our field of biological imaging, most of our users are local users. Uh, so, our first aim, of course, our first mission is to deserve and to offer service to our local users that represent about 95% of uh, the users of our uh, facility. But uh, also, uh, we are now open uh, to all Europe, to the whole world, actually, and we have uh, users and visitors that come from all over the world. And although in numbers, those are pretty small, similarly, uh, the uh, industrial 
uh, users are also pretty small in numbers, representing about 5% of the total users. But in terms of uh, visibility, in terms of uh, input, in terms of international collaboration, uh, those uh, represent a very important role. And so uh, our mission, as I said, is to provide this, uh, this service. If we want to provide really state-of-the-art service, uh, we need to be at the top, at the frontier of, uh, of development. And as you all know, as with any uh, scientific project, uh, this requires international collaborations, lots of funding. And uh, it's because we are part of this uh, national and European infrastructure that we are able actually uh, to develop very ambitious R&D programs uh, with uh, good levels of funding uh, which are requested for that. As all the users of the Bordeaux Imaging Center know, there is a local website uh, for local users uh, where you can uh, apply, uh, contact uh, the people which are responsible uh, for uh, the core facility, and uh, we already have uh, several hundred users, local users of the Bordeaux Imaging Center. And so you can also, of course, uh, enter into collaboration with the R&D teams by contacting them uh, individually. Now, when we talk about the national infrastructure of the European in, or the European infrastructure, uh, this is a bit more structured. One website for France Bioimaging uh, gives you all the information of the various nodes in France and uh, how to access them. There are very simple uh, forms to, uh, to fill in, uh, to put on your project and all the contact points. And so what I advise is uh, to look up what are the various offers in terms of technologies, in terms of trainings which are available all over France and soon all over Europe, and uh, then contact the responsible people for all those facilities to, to get access to them. Similarly, uh, now since uh, this Monday, uh, the website for Eurobioimaging is open with the list of all the nodes over the 16 countries which are uh, the initial founding members. And uh, there you can see what are all the available technologies with simple forms to apply uh, to actually access those various uh, locations. Vice versa, of course, if you have uh, collaborators abroad or collaborators in other towns that want to access our uh, infrastructure in Bordeaux, it's very simple to actually apply uh, through uh, this portal and hopefully soon uh, we will get actually resources uh, to support those uh, users that come from abroad to access our uh, facility. That's a good question. Uh, in uh, Bordeaux, we've actually been uh, pretty precursors uh, because our facility and our R&D teams have already been open uh, to the exterior uh, for a long time, and so we have quite a long habit of actually hosting uh, visitors. And we've done, uh, for example, proof of concept operations where we've already been able to welcome over 50 users in the last uh, eight years. And so this will continue, uh, this will be reinforced. We have really professionalized our uh, ability to host uh, users uh, because we now can provide uh, access to sample preparation, we can, we can host uh, mouse lines, we can host, uh, prepare special cell cultures uh, for those needed, and so there's a whole workflow and people that are there to support uh, this access. And so I time, as time goes by, uh, we really hope to be able also to support financially uh, those users. This is not yet the case, uh, but hopefully in uh, Horizon Europe that is going to be launched uh, a year from now, there will be special resources dedicated to uh, support those uh, transnational users. So I would like really to conclude by saying that uh, now, actually, uh, we are uh, Eurobioimaging. We are part of this uh, European uh, infrastructure. Uh, this is going to be extremely important uh, 
also to acquire means and resources, uh, because as you know, uh, our various uh, governments and governing bodies uh, have been uh, really into this process of concentrating uh, resources, uh, especially for core facilities and infrastructures in uh, special areas uh, dedicated to various topics. And as uh, Bordeaux is very strong for biological imaging, I have no doubt that uh, special resources will be allocated to further develop our facilities and R&D uh, processes. And so I think, as, a, as we say commonly, that the future for bioimaging is very bright. Thank you.